Hey guys, welcome back in. Thank you so much for joining me for this next part. Before we get started, let's talk about the last episode for just a minute. We find out that Arthur has tuberculosis and during this time period, it is untreatable. So no cure, nothing the doctor can do. He just told Arthur he needs to rest and that was hard news to hear. Definitely. Very, very sad. I'm still sad about it. But the last couple days, I was just kind of bummed out and didn't really feel like playing. And then it kind of hit me that so many people in the community have told me that this is one of their favorite games ever. So really, I just had to remember that the developers clearly have created a incredible game and it's a roller coaster of emotions and that's what they intended it to be. So I'm kind of going forward with a different mindset, even though I'm feeling sad. I just want to try to do as much as I can, enjoy it as much as I can, and just be open-minded to whatever the story has left. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this, and let's jump into the game. I'm outside of Annisburg. We're gonna talk to Edith again. Hopefully she'll actually talk to Arthur now that we helped her son, I'm hoping. Never listen to oh. me. Like talking to a goddamn wall. I don't want you to work in that mine no more, okay? You two Would you rather right? go back to thieving? That's quite an hmm? argument. I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide no. for... I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. Is there a man in this town who ain't a moron? <laughs> He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's going to ruin us both. Man. It's a mining town. I guess everyone here pretty much works in the mine, right? Probably all the husbands, at least. Where's she at? Is she in here? Is that a door? Okay. Saint Denis bank robbers still on the run. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about moral. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Oh my god, please tell me nothing has happened to her. If that kid is left by himself and his both of his parents pass, it's fine. She's gonna be alive. She's gonna be alive. Yeah. Come on, pickle. Get get into high gear, pickle. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa girl. Search for a trail at the bridge, okay? Easy. Whoa. Search for a trail. Yep. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 I found, I found yeah. something. We haven't followed a trail in a while. When do you think the last time was? When we went hunting with Jose? Jose! There's the horse. Oh my god, look at the rabbit. Looks like they're just talking. I feel weird interrupting this. I don't know. <laughs> should, should we? It's quiet. They're just talking. It looks like just chatting. That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. 
I'll see you again, mm -hmm. dearie. Oh. Mm. Kill him, Arthur. Shoot him. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> You loved him. You did everything for him. Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. What's on her face, you guys? Is she doing drugs? Or is that something transmitted? Come on, Edith. Let's get you back to your son. Let's go. Come on, Edith. You can get on pickle. Easy. There we go. Yep. Easy, girl. Now. I'm sorry, you had to come to this. Stop like they can get sorry. out of here. I'm sorry, we won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now too. And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. We're trying to help her, though, and her son. That's got to count for something, Archie right? Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Okay, well, Pickle just said... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pickle. You made the woman walk all the way... <laughs> oh, Pickle, Mama. pickle. Mama. Oh, oh, you're so boy. Archie, what we do? Get out of here. Leave Go. this town, Live please. Else. Start over. Here. Build a farm. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. Yep. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here, please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Man. Minus 90. Big spender. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. That's a lot of money in this time period. Michael, that was so rude of you. So rude of you. Why are you doing Now what should we do, you guys? What do we have? We have Strauss and a question mark. I wonder if you can ride a train around the entire map. I feel like you probably could. I'm gonna give Arthur and Pickle a bath. Ah, you have entered legendary animal territory. Hunt this legendary animal by finding and inspecting clues. Wait a second. Finding and inspecting clues. You guys see anything? Legendary animal territory. 
Maybe it's on the other side? Wait a second, is it over there? I see something gold. Oh, that might be a fire. That looks like a fire. I don't see any clues. I see the plants. Clues are gold, aren't they? Oh, I see it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Slow up now. What's it gonna be? Tree rub. <gasps> A moose. I better get moving. Moose tree rub. Oh my god. It rubbed on that tree too? Sure did. Wait, where'd the tree go? Where'd it rub on? Is that a snake? I hear it, I don't see it. Where? Oh my god. It's a rattlesnake. Ugh. A timber rattlesnake. Oh, found an animal. Disgusting. Oh, there it is. Moose dung. <laughs> Ain't close. You didn't touch it, did you? I don't think I have the right equipment to hunt a moose. If I wanted to kill a moose, would I use a Springfield? Let me call Pickle up here really quick. I feel like I would. Let's just assume that this would work. Pickle. Oh. Okay, girl. Pickle, quit following me. Okay, stay. Okay, another clue. What's this gonna be? Oh, <gasps> there's a fox. How cute. What'd that say? Inspect fur? Oh yeah, fur. Okay, where are you? Okay. Continue this way. <gasps> oh, oh my god, oh my god. Was that it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a damn second. There's something white. What is that? <gasps> oh my god! It's a white moose! I have never seen that in my life. I didn't even know that was a thing. For some reason I thought that was a white deer. Wow. Where did it go? Is that it? I feel bad killing it. Kind of. It seems like the king of the mooses. Ooh. 
Legendary moose. Dude. What? Wow. Looks like a grandpa. Yields an antler that can be used in crafting. Use a bow with an improved arrow for a clean kill. Oh my goodness. It's too pretty to kill. Well. If I ever want to kill it, I know where it's at. I don't think I have improved arrows right now. Let me just double check. Oh wait, my bow is on pickle, isn't it? Let's see. Do I have improved arrows? Where's the bow? Oh my gosh, I'm... I have fire arrows. <laughs> I don't think that that's what they mean. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. I kind of just feel thankful that we got to see it. That is such a pretty animal. Wow. I wonder what else kind of legendary animals this game has. Easy. Okay, Pickle. Look at it. Are those all the little babies, maybe? I love the wildlife in this game. Yeah. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get close. There we go. You discovered a location of legendary fish. Someone living near Flatiron Lake is known for their interest in fish. Yeah. Okay, Flatiron Lake. That's probably where you get the map you guys were talking about. Oh, okay. Pickle's drowning. Pickle's drowning. Pickle's drowning. We're on an adventure. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We gotta get back to what we were doing. This looks like the house that we're going to. I wonder who this is gonna be. Okay then. This was supposed to be our little adventure. <laughs> uh you alright there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> Well, it makes no difference now if, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence we wanted to strip it away to find something authentic <laughs> what a pair of fools is there a train station or a town i can take you to no i can't give up now he wouldn't want that i i can't have it i'm gonna do this for you cal okay well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Do what, I wonder? Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. Dang. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Is that how we died? Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. Oh, my goodness. 
But you better not try any funny business. Never. Yeah, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Arthur would never. Micah would. Lead the widow to the hunting area. You ever area. skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're going to survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. Oh. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. Oh. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I don't know. It's hard to explain. I thought we were gonna ride pickle. I have to do this. I understand. This is so sweet. Is this what we're gonna be doing with Arthur now that we know he's sick? He's gonna be helping people more. I like seeing this side of him. I really do. Charles taught Arthur how to hunt, and now hunt. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and now Where Arthur's gonna teach point? her. Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Oh, are we supposed to move? Okay. I thought she was looking around. Oh, I see movement. I see movement. Do you see it? Right there. Right there. How do you not see it? Why are you looking behind us? Right there. In front of you. She doesn't have hunter eyeballs like I do. I have the trained eye. Right there. Should I just kill it? I mean, I could. <laughs> Stay quiet and still watch me. Watch me. <laughs> Maybe don't watch me, actually. Ma'am, look away. Look away. Look away. The wind is blowing hey, way too hard. I'm watching. Oh my god, I'm in. Oh. Okay, okay. Did you see that, ma'am? Did you see that? Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. Okay. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Should we give her a knife? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. I feel like that only works for you, Arthur. To it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. And she's got you a rabbit. Did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. Oh, you can. You Give yourself some your credit. In the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Yeah, this might be the most beautiful property in all of the game. She has a waterfall, oh, woods. No. We're done for now. No, we're not. Don't stress, ma'am. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh, thank God. 
<laughs> you see, if, if, if you hadn't Let me go ahead and get this. I, I'd be dead Let's now. give her some more food. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country. Oh, life, it's perfect. But there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. We only I'm know sure what it we know. Take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. I don't think you would. No. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. You guys. This property. You know how much they would sell this for nowadays? This property. This is like my dreamland. Wow. Mountain views, waterfall. Wait. Sorry, I... I don't have the energy to go that fast. Well, is that a mountain? It's a hill, kind of. Sorry, sorry. I feel like if you were starving, though, you would definitely get creative and kill something, especially when you have animals everywhere. She would have figured it out. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Shall I leave? Okay. A plus honor. I feel like my honor bar has to be maxed out at this point. Come on, Pickle. Now, what should we do? We could go to Strauss or we could go to Sadie Adler. I almost want to go to Sadie, honestly. I'm glad we did that. Whoa, whoa! No, Arthur! I swear, if walking He's over that pelt just ruined it, I'm gonna lose my mind. Don't you dare tell me. Get off the horse. Still be perfect. Okay. Thank goodness. That was nice. That was a really nice side mission. Helping that lady. I bet if we come back, maybe he'll teach yeah. her how to hunt something bigger. Or maybe he'll teach her how to fish. That would be sweet. God, what easy, a perfect easy. spot. I guess the only downside would be the train being loud, but even then, who cares? Looks like the most ideal house you could possibly have, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh! What the? Ah! Pickle! I think that was the dog running toward me. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Where? Somebody help me. Where? Gav? Gavin's Gav? friend. <laughs> you still I've haven't found Gavin. Friend. Somebody help me, please. Who is Gavin? Hello, mister. Have you Good seen day. Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Um, Maybe he just left. Possible. Gavin. <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. Um, we really were best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. 
I don't know. It's possible. Uh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! <laughs> Where are you? He has been looking for weeks. Where are you? I mean, I went to Guarma and I'm back now and he's still looking for Gavin. I hope he finds him. Wonder if I'll ever find Gavin. Okay, you guys. I, am so worried. I have really bad news. So, Gav. on my way here, because we're going to do the Sadie Adler mission. Uh, I saw a ledge of, on a rock that looked like it could possibly be treasure. It just seemed interesting, so I rode up the ledge, and sure enough, Pickle and I both fell off, dying. And apparently if you die and your horse dies, you lose your horse, so we don't have Pickle anymore. I tried everything. I went to the stables, seeing if I could possibly... Oh. Of course I'll give some food. I will donate. Hello, sister. I had to buy a new horse. Mr. Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me, God is people and people are God, so... We must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. <laughs> I like her. Let's see, you've got corn. Me. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat my... You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. As you wish. <laughs> Consider your Extreme good Extreme personality. I like her. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Okay, promise. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Should I have given more? I don't know. It didn't well, seem anyway, like enough. I must focus on oh, she said I must focus on the work at hand. Okay, what I was saying was I had to get a new horse. I tried to get the one that looked similar to Pickle. This is like the $500 horse. So definitely not the same as Pickle. Probably doesn't have the same personality either. Hello. R.I.P. I just can't catch a break. Everyone is dying. Pickle doesn't want to live in a world without Arthur. <laughs> just kidding. So now we have Nugget. This is Nugget. Okay, well. Hey, Nugget. Hey, Nugget, what are you doing? Is this Pickle's cousin? What the hell's happening? Sadie Adler. Mm. 
Icarus and friends. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Wama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. Yep. And Hosea? So yep. that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Does she have the same horse as me? Follow me. All right. I'm so excited to do a mission with her. Yeah. Her and Charles and Lenny. I'm trying to think who else. Her, Charles, and Lenny are probably my favorite people to do missions so, with so far. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything. We need to make sure John's even still at this prison. Okay. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. What? Now, the pilot, or Wait. whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Okay. Bit of a tour. He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You oh. know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So, I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Oh Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. Look at that! Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Are we actually going up in that thing? No way. Mr. Hopefully, Bullard. I got all the dialogue uh, from her. Adler. It's good to see you. Good I was going slow. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullet. At your service, sir. Oh, I'm so excited. Arthur Morgan. Well, Are we doing it's this? A nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. No <laughs> way. You ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate <laughs> flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens what? above. Or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. I wish Sadie could have come with us. You boys have fun. The ascent prompt R2 shows How your current you officer as it fills. <laughs> up, up and away. No way. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We you should guys. Still have some decent views over the river. You guys. This now, is so flipping cold, awesome. Ablutions. What? The side, solids, do your utmost to levy How high are we going to go? Okay, Mr. Bullard. 
I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. This is amazing. This Keep is going, so cool. We need to I'm get going. Up the clouds. It really is dark up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Okay. I can't believe Arthur's getting to do this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is this the f Let's maybe the first ever clouds. hot air balloon ever created? Oh. Wow. My God. Yes. <laughs> Heavenly indeed. Quite <laughs> remarkable, isn't it? Okay. Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. Okay. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, this is Adler told me you were. <gasps> Look at the moon! Look at that detail. She did, did she? I can't believe you wouldn't let Sadie come. Women's vapors, like what in the world is that even supposed to mean? Can we break him out of jail like this? Just land in. John! John! <laughs> come on! Ah, that's better. Look! We can see for miles now. Wow. Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? Okay. My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lighting. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> He's here. like, shut up. This might be the coolest mission Did so you far. In for the sure. This morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, no. I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. No. I think I'm all Hard right. pass. Thank you. Recalling the is that it? Discussion. Well, just say the word. This makes me want to go in a hot air balloon. I've never been in one, but they're so pretty. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise. <gasps> Look at the train. Very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely. Gosh. Not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. I like what Sadie wears. I think she looks very nice. See that building up ahead on the island? Yep. That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Okay. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? We're on a tour. Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you what? are a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? I'm gonna leave a bad Come review if you don't let me. Us. Calm down. Go look. They won't care if we stay high enough. I, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Do I have my guns? Wonder if we could grab him now. I mean, we're right here. Maybe we're just looking for him though. There's a group. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you nope, know. Not there. Okay. I can't believe we're doing this. There he is. Wait, is that him? Yep, that's him. Yep, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! 
I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Oh, I'm trying! This is absolutely insane. <gasps> Wait, did they kill him? Speed is picking up. Or is he laying down? This altitude is heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. What happened? I saw him put his hands up. Uh, in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> okay. The shooting aside, that is the coolest mission so far. Hands down. Hot air balloon. Oh, there's Annisburg. How amazing. Sure. Good lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Where? Being chased. Yes. Oh, hell no. Get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, Sadie! Up here! Harold Driscoll's. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Where they are? I think I might need to adjust my feet. Oh, that was a horse. With the old Driscoll's right now. That everybody? Yeah, why would she do that while I'm on the hot air balloon? What the hell? Uh, I gotta get in front of it. Ah! It won't go. <laughs> right, Sadie has died. I should have just changed guns. No, what I should have done was I should have unscoped. That would have helped a lot. Okay. Take out the pursuing O'Driscolls. Where are they at? I have oh max armor, actually. Honor, actually. Oops. No, no, no. Go kill him. Oh dear, that boiled egg feels decidedly scrambled. Just Oh my god. I'll deal with him. I think I might need to adjust my feet. I'm gonna put you down, woman. What a day! Okay. I'm about to lose it. No, no, no. Grab the rope, come on. Come on. Grab the rope. Okay. Look out! There's a bridge up ahead! Okay. I'll come down and get you on the other side. Okay, I didn't realize how hard it would be to aim oh, in a I can't reach it! A hot air balloon. Come on, Sadie. Nearly there. Come on. All right, hold it there. Come on. Got it. Go, go, go. Go. Let's get out of here. Pull me up. I'm going. Lift, 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 lift. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Your neck? I don't think so. 
Could could have been worse. Could have been worse. That was it, so look. cool. There's more of them on the other side. Give me they my must gun. Have followed us. Get behind something. Give me my this gun. Ain't over yet. Dick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get some tobacco. These goddamn old Driscolls. You can. It's swaying so much. It's swaying. Oh my god. Who's left? I was trying to do something cool and I can't remember how to throw it. Okay. God damn it! We got more coming out of the woods there. I planted it on the ground. I don't. There we go. You have to hold L2. You have to hold L2. reload. Wow! How many bullets are in this thing? <laughs> I tried. Hell no. Not on my watch. Yeah. He ain't going nowhere. I was getting my revenge too. Wow, my aim today, <laughs> it's just no comment. This is why you can't take a few days between playing because it just messes, it, at least for me, it messes me up. Hold on, I want to throw a dynamite because I was, okay, L2 to light, L2 and then R2 to throw. There we go. I was just doing R2, much better. That's what was messing me up. Where's all the dynamite that I sat down? It was like four sticks. Should be a ton of dynamite. The hell is wrong with you? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Colm O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. <laughs> sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. 
I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by must. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. Okay. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one. And we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Okay. Maybe a copperhead landed. So she doesn't think Thank that. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say. Welcome, boss. Sadie. I heard that. So she doesn't think that he's actually gonna get hung. They'll rescue him. She doesn't want that to happen. Wants to make sure he actually dies. I mean, I want to make sure he dies too. <gasps> Hummingbird sage. Ooh. Where is my dynamite, you guys? Guess it doesn't matter. It's gone. It's long gone. All right, where's Sadie at? That boar was just sitting in the mud. <laughs> just sitting there, hanging out. Let's see, where's she at? Oh, I see the boat, I think. Is that her? Sure. <gasps> I know he's your husband, but it's going to be... Really nugget. Well, it's going to be violent. No, I do not I think insist. she needs to come. No. Insist all you like ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know oh. you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. I was about to say, you, you need to stay and watch Jack, because if something happens to both of y'all, then what? All right. Here goes nothing. I can't believe we're just doing this. Dutch isn't going to help. She hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. Okay. This time of day... Prisoners probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah, seems simple. Times, I know, he has the worst luck. First the wolf at the beginning. He got okay. he got tore Bring up with the wolf. And now this. I need a silencer. We good? Let's head for that watchtower. Okay, okay. Stay low. Hell, if we had Charles, he could probably shoot him with a bow from this distance, I bet. Oh my god, I am so... Okay, first of all, I need my hat. I can't believe I'm not wearing it. What are you doing? I was trying to bathe off a little. <laughs> I think I'm that muddy because of the dynamite. Oh, wait, because the horse just threw me off. That's what it was. Yeah, that'll do it. There's a guard up there. Yep. I'll deal with him. Okay. Okay. I'll follow you up. All right. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought the ladder was on the other side. Stuff kill. Okay. Okay. Get down. Come on up. Oh my god. Okay. I already had a rolling block rifle, th I think. Look for John. Alright. Where's John? Hey. I think I see him. There's a group. In front of that barn, just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. 
Okay. Here? Okay. Okay. Oops. Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. What? What? Oh. How do you go down? There it goes. It has to catch. That's weird. Get moving, Arthur. Come on. So we didn't know for sure that was him before I shot. I feel like because I made the gun noise, they're all gonna go inside. Come on, Arthur! Let's keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! Mister! Uh, you know John Marsden? That was a headshot. I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No, no. No. You put the gun down. Now! <laughs> Thank goodness. Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh. and get him together. Oh. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Hold on. I had to sneeze. My allergies are so bad. I'm trying oh, to watch this Barbie. guy. She's got him? Okay, okay. Now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. I can't Jameson believe this who? is happening. No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. Okay. They're, they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. I think we're doing this. I just can't get over the fact that, uh, Dutch isn't here. We have no help. This is kind so, of you insane if you think about employee, it. my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Man, this guy is walking slow. Come on. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. I'm trying. Hope someone in there actually He's gives slow poking. A about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Look at her walking. <laughs> Hold your fire! <laughs> She's got a scary walk. Oh okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Everyone be cool. Come on. Be cool. Be cool. He's in sound to me. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12. Mm-mm. <laughs> Don't play Best with them. 14, 15. Hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out and over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards! Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey. It's okay, hey. girl. Love <laughs> you too. <laughs> 
Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Oh, we should have walked back with him some. Take my pistol. Let's clear these and make a run for it. Am I losing honor? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We gotta. S I don't want to do the rolling block. What? Oh, that's all I have. Dang it! I'll do this. Oh, that was a good shot. Through the rails. Damn. Ooh! Damn! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Dodge! Oh my god, oh my god. Get me out of here. I'm done. I don't want it anymore. I'm leaving! Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. <laughs> What took you so long? Dutch didn't want to come. I'll explain later. Was that you with the balloon? Nah, yeah, it was. <gasps> yeah. Believe me, that was my one and only. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Finally, perfect execution. Oh my god, I do not have the right guns for this, you guys. Dynamite, I need more dynamite. Hurry! We need to get to the boat! Oh. Ah. Did I sit it? I killed What? I oh my god, he put it on the ground. What is that mechanic? What is that? Guys, there's so many. Oh, we got one. Go, go. 
always seem to need rescue in Mars. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself. Child. I haven't been Neither shooting too great right now. Still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. God, I've been shooting awfully, honestly. Oh my god! Okay, we gotta unscope. We gotta unscope. Last one? Last one. Oh. That was hard. That was a hard part. You know, I think I liked you better when you better you be grateful, John. Trust up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Or Let's Sean. Go. Does he know? Wait, we he doesn't know that Lenny's dead, does he? Gets wind of this. He has no idea. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... I don't know. It like doesn't family. feel real. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... Nope. The, the money? Don't ask. Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. <laughs> John, a long story, barely, I don't, I barely understand what happened. Things ain't been And good, I was there. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so you might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. All right. I can't stop thinking about this. But when it In was bike, Micah, <laughs> when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. What? Well, maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. It's Micah, isn't it? It's so funny. It's so ironic, honestly. Not even funny. Because if you think about it, when Micah was captured, he was like, go get Micah now. Go get him. Right now. But when it's John, it's like, oh, well. I know he's kind of suspicious of John, though. But that was before he found out it was Molly, no? you we would John what are you doing here good to see you too partner I meant I hadn't sent for you yet I went but I said that yeah I know what you said what I felt different is that so yes and when spring and John brings the law down on all of us what then Arthur. Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur. It ain't. I had 
the goddamn plan! Oh my John. god. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. I keep trying to like Dutch. I really do. I'm given. I feel like I've given him chance after chance after chance. And then he just does stuff like that. What is the difference between getting John now and tomorrow? Either way, they're coming after them. No? Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. Don't say that. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end it. <laughs> She's going to make me damn cry. Okay, wait, no. We can't end it just yet because I want to go let Ar Arthur sleep and then read the journal. We'll catch up on that before we end this episode. Sleep. I guess I'll let him sleep till morning. Yeah. Unbelievable. I just, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about Dutch's reaction to John. And he's like, he really is losing his mind, isn't he? He has to be. Because what? I think it's like a control thing. He's, he's acting like a control freak. Like, that wasn't my plan. Like, I said we couldn't get him today. It has to be in two days. When in reality, I don't think he wanted to go get John at all. Saw that Downs kid being beaten up, so helped him. Maybe I shouldn't have killed his poor father if I cared so goddamn much. What a conflicted fool I've become, or have always been. Then I tried to rescue his mother, who was in the process of getting herself murdered. Maybe she wanted that. I don't know. She looked at me like I am what I am. A killer seeking out salvation. Only I'm not. I don't want saving. I don't deserve it. I just want to help a, a few folk. And sure as shit, I owe her. Felt like a fraud and a fool, but at least I did something. The white moose. <gasps> you guys, is that Pickle? Or is that the new horse I bought? I'm not sure. Sadie Adler and I rescued Marston from prison where he was awaiting hanging, spied on them in a balloon, an event which was amazing and awful and I thought would kill me quicker than this illness. Later, Sadie and I rescued him while getting shot at. I did it for Abigail, of course, in her own way, the finest woman I know, but also for Jack and I guess Marston himself. I kind of like him. I can't believe I was suspicious of Abigail. Because before I started being suspicious, I had no reason to suspect her. I loved Abigail. I just started to think because she was with Hosea and because, like, when the first time we saw the Pinkertons, she told me to do something with Jack. I don't know. I overthunk it. We've argued over the years, but I've grown to care a little for him. He's less of a fool than he was, and maybe he can have the luck that has eluded me. Jack is an innocent little boy. In him, I see what I missed. We did it. 
Miss Adler and me, and then got attacked by Dutch. I went behind his back, sure, and he never likes that, but I suppose the years of blind loyalty is at an end. Loyal, yes, but not blind. Not until he opens his eyes as to the hell we are in and who his friends really are. Micah, I no longer trust. Say it one more time. No longer Hi, trust whatsoever, nor do I trust half of them, nor myself. Whole thing is a mess and I cannot think clearly. I think he's thinking clear enough. Good enough for me. No longer trust. <laughs> oh, it's a good day. It is a damn good day. Alrighty, you guys, that's gonna be where I stop this one. I was kind of worried that I would feel a little bummed out, sad, just have a hard time having fun for this first episode after finding out about Arthur's, like, sickness, having tuberculosis. But I was wrong. I feel like they do such a good job of, you know that he's sick, but then they take you out of it. Like, there's moments of just pure happiness and at least for me as the player, like being able to be in the hot air balloon and kill the O'Driscolls with Sadie and just rescue John. Of course, all of these events are scary and serious, but for some reason, I just have fun, especially when I'm with Sadie. And don't even get me started on Dutch. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. He's lost his mind. I don't think Dutch is the man that Arthur knew at the beginning of the game. I definitely don't think that Dutch is the same man that Arthur knew growing up. I think he's probably changed so much through the events that have taken place for the whole group and losing people and he has a sense of responsibility. I don't know what goes on in his mind, but I have to assume that like every person that dies plays into his psyche a little bit and he, I don't know, like the type of guy he is, I think he, how do you word it? Maybe he's used to winning and doesn't like to lose and like every person that dies is kind of a little bit of a loss even if they get away with some money and I don't know I just think that Dutch having a plan to get John I don't even think he ever really wanted to get John personally I think for him John is better gone because John started questioning his like his choices and his plans and stuff and was being vocal about it so then Dutch thinks that John is the rat just because John is like, hey, you know, you're not leading us well, pretty much. And watching Dutch and Micah like back up together. So I guess they're a little duo now just makes me sick. Like, what is going on in his head? And now I'm just curious, is Dutch gonna possibly like find his way back and start thinking logically or is he just gone? Is there no hope for him whatsoever makes me very curious how the story between him and arthur is going to continue from here on because i think that this is going to be a big turning point of arthur doing something completely behind dutch's back and not feeling any remorse about it so it'll be interesting to see how dutch treats arthur moving forward i almost wonder if arthur chooses not to tell dutch the severity of his sickness especially after the conversation they just had. I wonder if he just never brings it up. I guess we'll see, but man, this was fun. This was intense, a lot of emotions, and just overall great day of playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you for the next one. Bye, guys.